My name is Ifendi, I am from your group. Uh, firstly, thank you to Dato Eri as moderator. Thank you uh, to uh, Time Tech for inviting me for uh, this sharing experience. Uh, thank you to KL at CCCI. Dato Leo, hello. Good to see uh, a lot of familiar faces today. Um, I think the um, picture behind this is our office and uh, we have a uh, we are involved, we are known for to be the chocolate guys in MRCA and um, because primarily we manufacture, we distribute and uh, we do the, we have shops, about 40 plus shops around uh, in airports and other locations. And uh, what, one of our proudest achievements is to establish the first chocolate museum in uh, Southeast Asia and also in Malaysia. And um, I think this is shameless advertising <laughs> as well. But um, I think the, the point here is, is uh, I would like to pose a question to the audience because I don't know how many, how many of you are still uh, following the, the talk today. I know it's a graveyard shape for most of us. Uh, anyone still using punch card at your offices? Could you raise up your hands? Only one. I only saw one person. A few people there. So don't be ashamed because we are also we, we have been using punch card for for I think uh, since 1985 and until last year uh, when I realized that um, uh, that you know we have to change as an organization uh, the business has been going I'm the second generation like Alison herself who have uh, uh, nicely. Uh, explain the situation. I also have the same sort of uh, management style when you, you know you don't don't fix what is not broken. You know, they have the same. If it's not broken, why fix it? But I think that that saying has to change because uh, the world is changing at a faster pace than uh, we realize it. And uh, I think we've uh, coming into and uh, establish organization you are as a newcomer you are seen as um, you know uh, as a troublemaker sometimes uh, but I, I guess uh, it's the way what I'm trying to say here it is about how you do it rather because I'm sure uh, in most organization if you're still using punch card that means uh, you need you need to have a talk with your with your senior management. I also understand that Tony Young just started using Time Tech last year, so but I'm sure you've been using other solutions before this, so you're not as bad as us. Uh, so there goes the the same change before you have to. And uh, what was interesting? Okay, this is not a high end uh, solution where, like uh, what. Uh, Alison was saying just now, because ours is, is just basic things, but we realized that, um, I, I realized that the company has a human resources department and it is not being fully utilized or rather optimized in terms of delivering its function because human resources play a greater role in the 21st century or 20th century uh, of, uh, in the era of Industrial Revolution 4.0 because if they are still busy doing your payroll, busy doing their, the bread and butter thing or they are not concentrating for the future, then you are missing out. So initially when I presented to the management uh, or to the board, uh, it was clearly just rejected outright because, when, because most of the time they would just ask how much? <laughs> How much is it going to cost me? So then I realized that the main obstacle for me is not to talk about money first. You know, you have to talk. In, in, it's like Steve Jobs. He's not selling a handphone. Right? He's selling a, a solution to communication in a different way. You know? it, it, it's more of a lifestyle program. So here we work together. Because I know money is a big issue for, for, for most of the companies, especially SMEs. So we tried to do, I thought when Time Tech came to me, we discussed about having a, something which is a POC. For those who have not heard of POC, is proof of concept. Proof of concept is for me to convince my senior management that this thing works. Alright? 
And on top of that, I managed to convince the vendor at that time, time, time to do it for free of charge. Who doesn't like free of charge things, right? So uh, this, in, in, so I allay the fear first before I show them the benefits. Because if you don't address these issues, because if you just talk about numbers, uh, dollars and cents, they will just kick you out the door immediately as soon as you come in. So the thing is you have to manage their expectation. So I tell them it's free, it's risk free. If you don't like it, the vendor will take it back. And it gives them the opportunity to experience. Because um, I think not only the management has to be convinced, but you also have to convince the senior management that this is, I'm bringing good changes to the company rather than something that is going to make life more difficult. So these are the few units that we install, some in the front door, some at the factory door. Because we do realize that actually the claims for overtime has been increasing slowly for our chocolate production in our factory. So I think we told, because I try to relate that with the problems or the pains that the HR is also facing. So I try to comprehend and bring a solution together, but at the same time, I'm telling them no commitment for you until you're happy with this product and it's proven. And, and the vendor was very, uh, Time Tech was very happy to support me because they knew that there is an evangelist or there's a preacher within uh, the company. So we worked together to launch this and it wasn't long before we implemented in the north region. We have offices in Langkawi, in Penang, in Johor, in Sabah, in Sarawak. So this was a, after the POC, everyone seems to be very happy with it and they started to see the real benefits. Because usually when vendors come in, they think they always have this um, skepticism. So um, it's just a matter of them to see, to believe it, rather than because once I brought them to the door, they themselves made the decision to change it for the branches. Because we have remote hours, but we don't have a branch in Australia like Edison does. <laughs> so ours is uh, still within Malaysia, but it's, it's, it's a bit of a headache if you have uh, remote branches, you can't uh, be asking the, them to produce the reports every day. So this is uh, one of the solutions. And then I think from there on, they decided, oh, now we, we think we can you produce a small solution. Time Tech produced this uh, leaf application. Now we're using another, we're embarking on another solution by Time Tech, which, which uh, regulates or controls the leaf application for the staff. Because I, when I started, uh, I, was a, I was a lawyer, I started legal practice, I never had to fill any forms. <laughs> and I never had to, you know, uh, for holidays. But when I came to my own family's uh, company, I was surprised, I was using paper. <laughs> so it took us again another 33 years before we got here. But it's better late than never, right? So I think this became sort of like um, introducing stage by stage. We in fact now working on inventory system. I, I think change has to come, but it can be progressive. Um, I think these are the key take home message I would like to share with everyone. Change is not easy, as I said. Uh, you have to manage it in a, in a very diplomatic yet uh, tactical way so that everyone doesn't, you don't step on anyone's toes. It's a top-down approach. Uh, sometimes you have to get the will of the management to ensure that everything uh, goes as planned. Uh, you have to be ready for resistance and skepticism. Everyone say, uh, like what Edison said, you know, you're wasting money, la, you're doing this, la, so everyone will, will be against you for, for a few months. And I think the, the most important thing is offer the path of least resistance. Which I mean, uh, what I try to say here is, if you can find, like for example, the, 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 the problem with making decisions for my company is all about, I mean, for a lot of SME, it's about, oh, whether this technology is relevant for us, or whether it's going to be cost too costly for us, whether it's going to be problematic in the long run, who's going to repair it, and blah, 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 blah. It's, the question never ends. 
So I think make it easy. Make it as easy as possible, like how you as a retailer, you make it easy for people to shop in the online only channel. And finally, once you get that done, you customize the solution to fit your organization because there's no such thing as one fit, size fit all. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you.